The first component that we'll examine in Domain 3, Instruction, is the component Using Questioning and Discussion Strategies. Questioning and discussion is the only instructional strategy specifically referred to in the framework for teaching. This reflects its central position in teacher's practice. In the framework, it's important that questioning and discussion are used as techniques to deepen student understanding rather than serve as recitation or a verbal quiz. When teachers ask questions of high quality, they ask only a few of them, and they provide students with sufficient time to think about their response, to reflect on the comments of their classmates, and to deepen their understanding. Some teachers confuse discussion with recitation, in which students provide answers to a teacher's questions in a type of verbal quiz. In some classes, a few students tend to dominate the discussion. Other students, recognizing this pattern, hold back their contributions. In a classroom where questioning and discussion techniques are being used, one would observe the indicators shown here. One would also observe high levels of student participation in discussion. What does a classroom look like where questioning and discussion techniques are being used? In a classroom where questioning and discussion techniques are used, you would observe the teacher asking, what might have happened if the colonists had not prevailed in the American Revolutionary War? The teacher asking, what are some things you think might contribute to? Or the teacher asking, Michael, can you comment on Mary's idea? And then Michael responds directly to Mary. Or the teacher asking a question and then asking every student to write a brief response and then share with a partner before inviting a few to offer their ideas to the entire class. What does a classroom look like where questions and discussion techniques are not being used? In a classroom where questions and discussion techniques are not being used, you might observe all questions are of the recitation type, such as what is 3 times 4? The teacher asks a question for which the answer is on the board. Students respond by reading it. Or the teacher only calls on students who have their hands up. In summary, good questions tend to be divergent rather than convergent. High quality questions promote thinking by students. Even when the question has a limited number of correct responses, it still promotes thinking. Class discussions are animated and engage all students. This concludes the presentation using questions and discussion techniques.